Now, when I was a kid, football commercials were something I always loved. They inspired me to learn new skills, make videos, and just play football. So today, I'm going to try something fun. I'm going to have a go at making one myself for the upcoming Euro 2024 tournament, but without the million dollar budgets that Nike and Adidas have. And I'm going to see how good we can make it. So first up, I'm going to have a go at making a football boot commercial. Then once I'm happy with that, we'll move on to the big one, the Euro 24 commercial. This should be fun. Let's get into it. So first things first, I need to choose which pair of boots I'm gonna make this commercial on because that is very important. We've got a load of boots here, as you can see, but which ones am I gonna choose? Let's take a look. Right, so these are some classics, but realistically, they're not nice and shiny enough to make the commercial on. These are nice and bright. We want a boot that's bright and gonna stand out, but once again, there's nothing particularly special about these. Obviously, the Predator Manias are iconic. These are a potential, but there is one pair, and I think they're in this box here, and these are the boots that I'm making the commercial on. Let's do it. So this is the pitch we'll be filming on and it should look really nice on camera. Right, so we've got to location filming the football boot commercial. Pitch is there, the rain is coming down. How are we going to produce magic in this? Mate, we don't have millions of pounds of budget. We definitely don't. I feel like these are things Nike don't have to deal with when making a commercial, do they? No, look at it. So it was a really bad start with the weather, but let's see which boots I decided to use for the first commercial. Right, so for this commercial, we had to pick a special pair of boots. We couldn't just go for anything. So I decided to pick a pair from a commercial, one of my favorite football commercials that inspired me at the start. And that is the Nike Mercurial Vapors. These are absolute beauties. They're gonna pop on camera. It's gonna be the dream. Let's get filming. And I'll also be using this ball as I think it fits really well with the boots and will look really cool on camera. So then it was time to get filming. I had Cam behind the camera helping me film. And for the first shot, I just wanted a simple angle of me walking in with the boots to the pitch. Cool. Now we've got to lace up the boots and get a POV shot of that. Now this might look strange, but this is how you get unique and interesting shots. This will create a really cool first person shot of me lacing up the Mercs. We did a few sprints filming in slow-mo to show the speed aspect of the boots. And then obviously I had to get some skills involved. We filmed this pretty uniquely by spinning the camera in and out afterwards. Right, now we just filmed some slow-mo of me striking the ball. This is gonna look really nice on camera. How do you think it's going so far though, Cam? Oh, it's going class until the rain decides to come. You know you're gonna have a severe mix of shots between sun and rain. So we waited for the rain to clear, then we got back on the pitch to carry on filming. Right, the weather's changed about five times whilst filming this commercial, but I'm hoping it'll still look good in the power of editing, so yeah, let's carry on. Now I've got a shot that I want to include in this. Oh my. Kit, you all right? I nearly fumbled our main bit of kit for this commercial as well. So I taped the GoPro to my leg to try and get this pretty unique shot with the camera looking straight down at the boot. Now obviously it looks a bit strange, but I'm sure the final shot will turn out pretty sick. Now for the final sequence of the commercial, I wanted to end with me running up to the ball to shoot. So I've got a load of angles of doing just that. Then I'll be able to put them together after and it should look sick. And for the final shot, I wanted a video of me just kicking the camera itself. I then went home to edit the commercial together. And this was the final product. So overall, I was pretty happy with how this turned out. But more importantly, it helped me practice for the big one, the Euro commercial, because I'll be investing a lot more time, money, and effort into this one. So before I get into making this commercial, first things first, I want to take a look at some of the most famous football commercials out there and try and get inspired on what we want to make. And hopefully, we can create something really, really nice. One thing I notice in these football commercials, there's always a lot of street football involved. So that's something that I want to make sure I include in my commercial later on. Obviously, you've got people like Ronaldo in this and Neymar and Rooney. Unfortunately, I don't have access to those players, but that doesn't mean we can't make something sick. Right, now we have one of my favorite commercials of all time. All right, this is sick. It's also, I've got to make sure I include some training montages because once again, that's something that everyone loves. Just fast moving, fast paced. The music is also really important, so that's gotta be good. And yeah, I think it's time we start shooting my own commercial. To film this, all I'll be using is a Canon camera and a GoPro. Obviously, what I wear on screen is important, so I'll have an England shirt, of course. These yellow materials, because I think they'll pop nicely on camera. 
and of course the new Euro 2024 ball, which will be included in every shot. Next up, I had to write a script for the advert. Right, so I've just finished scripting my video for the Euro commercial, and I think it's looking pretty decent. I've got a lot of elements of street football in there. I'm gonna have some training montages. I'm gonna have some good football montages. As we speak, I'm not sure how it's gonna end, but I'm hoping I'll figure that out along the way. I'm excited to get filming this. First location, I need to head somewhere in Europe. So yeah, let's get on a plane and travel to location. So for the first location, I needed an iconic city in the heart of Europe and I landed on Amsterdam for three different reasons. Number one, we're on a budget and the flights were cheap. Number two, it's a beautiful city, so it'll look great on camera. And three, it has a rich history in street football culture. So all in all, it was just perfect. Now, first things first, I realized I actually forgot to bring a ball with me. So I went to the shop to pick up the new Euro football. It cost me 30 euros, so our tight budget took a bit of a hit, but the ball was looking good and we also got super lucky with the weather as well. It was a perfect sunny day while shooting this commercial, so I couldn't really ask for more. So I started filming and everything about this place just looks so good on camera. Obviously we couldn't film in Amsterdam without getting a shot on the canal, so love bike around the city. I think I captured some really nice footage in Amsterdam for the commercial, but I'd also need to get some shots at different locations. Right, so coming to the gym room because you can't have a football commercial without some epic training shots, so yeah, let's shoot some stuff. Right, so this next shot might work, it might not. I'm gonna give it a go and it could look really cool. So I'm gonna need what's inside this bag. <laughs> it's like a magic trick. That is a blue screen or a green screen to be fair. And I want to kind of get a shot of the ball almost spinning in the air. If I just keep that in front of the green screen, I should be able to crop that out later. So at the pitch, to go along with the storyline of the video, I wanted to get a load of shots of me training. Some nice shots of me doing some slow-mo skills. And multiple takes of me kicking the ball. Inspired by the iconic night commercial, I also wanted to include some point of view shots. Including this one where Cam helps me up off the floor, which looks kind of strange, but in context of the commercial, it should make a lot more sense. So after collecting all the footage at multiple locations, there was a few more things I needed to do. So now the next step is to buy a voiceover for this commercial. I've obviously scripted it out. So I've come on Fiverr. I'm gonna to listen to a few of these and decide which one will fit our voiceover best. After choosing a voiceover, it was time to edit. Okay, Euro commercial done. I'm super excited for you guys to see this. I'm hoping it looks good. I'm hoping you think it looks good. Let's just play the clip. streets of Europe, the sound of the football can always be heard. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. As we speak, a future star is practicing his craft, lacing his boots, sprinting up a hill, doing one more push-up, scoring one more goal. On the streets, at the pitch, Watching TV, the beautiful game never stops. The dream to play on the biggest stage of them all. 